Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll show you how I resurrected the quick add feature that Google Calendar killed off in their last interface release. So this allows you to schedule appointments using normal English syntax rather than having to parse everything into database fields. I'll also show you how I use this practically in my life. So I'm not sure exactly when Google Calendar did away with a quick add function, but I miss it. Normally when you put in an appointment, you have to parse your fields for subject, date, time, location, et cetera, like you're putting in a database entry. The quick add feature used to let you type in a calendar entry using normal English grammar, like lunch with Sally on 2.28, 12 to 2 p.m. at Panera, and it would do the work of par parsing that information into the database fields with reasonable accuracy. So getting rid of this feature frankly feels a little bit like technology going the wrong direction, since artificial intelligence is supposed to be making tech products more human-like to deal with, but I can only hope that they are working on making it better before they're putting it back into Google Calendar. The good news is there is a way around it. At least there is if you are working on a computer and using the Chrome browser. You can use the Google Calendar extension. So to add the extension in Google Chrome, go up to the top right corner of your browser, hit the three dots, then more tools, and then extensions. Now scroll down and click on get more extensions. So in the search bar, you're gonna search for Google Calendar. So once you find it, hit add to Chrome. And then now the extension will appear up here next to your search bar in Chrome. And clicking on that is going to bring up all of your upcoming appointments. And as you can see, you can add new appointments from this by hitting the red plus sign button. In fact, the only way you can add appointment is, is by using Quick Add. You can see there's only one field there. Okay, so let's put in our fictitious lunch date in this field and we'll see what happens. So once we click Add, we, we can click on the event that we just created right here to check all the details and make sure that it went in right. Well, that's darn near perfect. It leaves Panera in the subject, but it also puts it in the location field, so clicking on it opens Google Maps with some Panera options. So that's perfect for me. I will say that it helps to know that I know the syntax that works for Quick Add. Like I know not to put the word at before event times, even though that's grammatically correct English in, in English, but you'll figure all that as well using some trial and error. So the quick add feature is sort of built into the iOS Google Calendar app as well, and probably the Android app, but it's not very robust. Here's how it works using our same fictitious lunch event. It is much pickier about syntax and the order that you type things in. Plus it has a greater than average fail rate, so I don't use it very much. I keep trying just in case they've improved the functionality and I am sure that it's gonna get there eventually. Practical application. So it seems fairly obvious how you would use this in real life. Once you get the syntax down, it's just easier and faster than having to click between fields and scroll through times and numbers. But here is where it is a total lifesaver for me. I have teenagers, and at the beginning of their activity season, sports, choir, etc., I usually get a giant list of practices, performances, games, and scrimmages. I hate that laborious task of entering in each appointment the typical way. I will go to ridiculous lengths to take all of the info I've been given and get it into Google Calendar quick ad format. It's possible in the end that it takes exactly the amount of time, but I doubt it. Plus, I just find it much more satisfying to put all of these in through quick ad. So let me walk you through an example. Here's a schedule that I received for my son's tennis team. It's in Google Docs format, which I find maddening since this is so obviously spreadsheet style data, but no matter, I can work with it. My tool of choice for manipulating this kind of data is still Microsoft Word because of the robust tools that it has for changing text to tables and vice versa. So Google Docs is still lagging far behind in this area. I'm not gonna walk you through each step because it's sort of nuts, but it involves getting rid of multiple tabs, using find and replace, converting the text into a table, using tabs as a column differentiator, and moving the columns around until it reflects proper quick add syntax, and adding columns with parsing words like on or at or a space, and then finally converting the table back to text. So here's the whole process sped up. Voila! Now I have a whole list of events that I can cut and paste into the Google Calendar Chrome extension to quick add. Adding each event now just takes a couple of seconds per event. Much better! And honestly, I don't know why every parent has to do the same series of work when whoever created this could just create a calendar in Google Calendar and share it with all the parents on the team. But that is an entirely different video. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.